Hello there and welcome to a special video for today. Originally I had wanted to start a new Gory Team Tactics campaign today, but I came across something that is just so awesome that I absolutely need to show it to you. I have played thousands of hours of Arma 2 and Arma 3. I'm not even kidding. And some of the most fun that I had back in Arma 2 in single player was with the Forgotten Few. The Forgotten Few was a dynamic campaign created by King Nothing where you played as Russian VDV soldiers uh, performing counterinsurgency operations in the region of Chernodos. It was really well done because every mission was different, they were randomly generated, completely dynamic, and on top of that you had to plan them. So you had to plan them from start to finish. How will you insert, how will you execute the mission, how will you extract? On top of that, you also had to take care of your whole platoon. There was a platoon management system. You had to um, make sure that you have the right people in the squads. You could select their loadouts, select the appropriate loadouts for the mission. And well, then hopefully execute it successfully. It was very well done. In fact, I think I have on my channel a video where I am playing the final mission of this Arma 2 campaign. If I don't forget it, I will link it in the video description. You can go and have a look. But back then, I don't think I talked during the video, so it's just gameplay. Well, if you fancy it, take a look. Now, imagine my delight when I discovered that there is a sequel. The Forgotten Few 2 for Arma 3. Once again, you could play as Russian VDV soldiers, however, I can't stomach that right now, so I am playing one of the other versions that are available. I will be playing as US Marines performing counterinsurgency operations in the region of Chernobyl, because that's still a very awesome map. All those forests are really great. Now, same as with the first campaign, this campaign here gives us completely randomized missions. So you will always get a different mission objective. There will be missions where you have to take out high-value targets, missions where you have to raid an enemy hideout or base, missions where you have to take a town, or missions where you have to defend something, missions where you have to escort some high-value uh, targets maybe. Uh, not targets per se, but high-value uh, people. So. It's very varied and it keeps the missions interesting. It doesn't get boring at all. On top of that, here too we have a platoon structure system. So as you can see, we have two squads here and each soldier has his own statistics. Each soldier, when you send him on missions, uh, accumulates fatigue. So these guys, I will have to swap them out pretty soon because they're getting quite fatigued now. But they also can gain veterancy if you keep sending them out on missions, which will then improve their statistics. So there, there's a balance that you need to strike. There are some reserves here that you can draw from, and you will need them because you will also lose men. That is uh, a sad fact that won't be avoided, unfortunately. But okay, let's take a look at our mission for today. Our mission is, we have tracked down an enemy officer south of Guglovo. His name is Antal Valky. He is suspected of having planned some of the recent strikes on our positions. He was spotted inside the building just moments ago. Assault the building, eliminate Antal Valky and confirm his identity by inspecting him. The enemy officer has been seen with a red beret. Field intel. This tells us what we are likely going to face during this mission. So in the target area, Intel has spotted 5 to 11 enemy infantry targets, no soft targets, no armor targets. Enemy anti-air capability is known to be weak, so that's great because we have an AH-1Z Cobra on standby. This can provide air support and might be very valuable. Enemy reinforcements might come in, uh, 1 to 4 infantry targets and one soft target. So soft targets refers to pickups armed with machine guns, for example. Now the thing is, this information that we see here can be completely wrong. There could be many more infantry targets, some armor targets maybe, we don't know. This is just some intel that was 
well, picked up in the field and it might be accurate, it might not. Let's check the weather forecast. Overcast and it might rain occasionally. With medium winds, the overcast will pass off with clear weather later on. Good to know. The deployment time will be at 0615, so very early in the morning. And if we open the quick map, look at this. The whole region of Chernobyl is unlocked and you will notice that, well, this area, this red area here for example, is controlled by the enemies. This will change. In between missions, well, there's a war going on. The enemy is taking ground and we are taking ground. I think it also depends on our campaign progress, but with uh, increasing campaign progress we should take more and more ground from them. And this is really amazing because it always puts you in new places. Okay, our target will be here, south of Guglovo, in a building, and we are to eliminate it. I now get to plan how I will perform this mission, how will I execute it. I will insert both squads together, and I will insert them by land. As you can see on the right we have some transport helicopters listed, they are all in maintenance right now, so we cannot use those, otherwise we would be able to airlift our troops into the target area. Or if the target is near the sea, we can use boats. But for now we will take uh, land transport. So where do I want to go? I think I want to stay... I want to insert outside of the enemy control territory, just to keep it safe. And this here, this castle might provide a good overview position, because I think it's quite high up, 379 meters, yes, in comparison, Guglovo over here is at, at what, at about 340. So we might be able to see the target area from up there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I will select a joint insertion point down here. Yeah, this is... Actually, let's drive a bit closer. That won't hurt. There we go. Better. This is where we will be dropped off. I will tell Jekyll to stand by here. And my plan is as follows. We will be dropped off here. Jekyll will move to this position. I will move my squads to the ruin here, the castle ruin, and I will try to take a look from up there towards the target area. Depending on what we can see, we will then move through these forests, closer to the target, and then maybe assault it from close range. Jekyll might be, I don't know, here or here, and provide fire support, while me and my squad move in and eliminate the target. Something like that. Okay. So we have that planned out. Uh, we can adapt the loadout of our guys, but I think this is already quite fine. As you can see, there are a lot of options. There's something for every type of mission. There really is. It is very well done. Lots and lots and lots of options. But we are good with what we have here. I think that's all right. Good. With that all done, I think we can begin the mission. So let's go ahead, accept the mission plan, and start this. Operation Citadel. We are at our forward operating base. It is very early in the morning. Everybody, get in the truck. Yeah, everybody getting in. Waiting. Waiting. Standing by. Standing by. Ready. Yeah, come on guys. We right, don't have all day go. here. It might be a bit of a bumpy ride, but we'll get you where you need to be. Just, uh, where did that guy uh, get out? out? He's all getting right. back in, okay. Let's drive then. Oh, 
Oh, there's a civilian. Don't want to run him over. I said we don't want... Oh my god. Okay. We are now close to our insertion point. I think up there on that hill is the castle, or well, the castle ruins. That's where we'll go. Oh look, a little lake. If we should run into enemy opposition, I can always order an emergency stop. But I don't think that will be necessary here, because we are not going into enemy territory right now. Not with the vehicles, at least. We're at your destination, boys. Okay, everybody get out. Come on, guys. Standing by. Uh, I could have taken a few more magazines from the truck, actually, now that I think about it. Let's do that really fast before they move out. The trucks will now move back to the base. Ah, here we have some Starnak Max. And give me a few grenades as well. Thank you very much. Now let's go. Jekyll is already on on the way to their standby point. Okay. Let's move up the hill. We are at the castle ruins. I will go up onto this tower. Everybody else, uh, find yourself some cover. Take cover. Solid copy. While I'll take a look. Let's not fall down, that would be unpleasant. Okay, here we are, on top of the tower. Target area should be from here pretty much due east. Right? Right. Pretty much in this direction over here. Now, here's a fun fact for you guys. Um, I have been standing on top of the ruins of this castle on this hill in real life. Um, when I visited Prague, 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 Prague a few years ago, I made a little detour because uh, this region here, Chernobyl, it's actually based on a real region in Czechia, and you can visit it. So these ruins in real life, they are not this large. There's not such a huge tower, for example, like this one here. But um, there is. A really breathtaking view all around. All I can say is that the developers really nailed this. It was a really nice sunny day and I can I could stand on the remains of the castle and look all around me and it looked pretty much like this. They really did nail it. It was a sight to behold and something really awesome to experience. Okay, back to our target here. So that there is our target area. And I can already see a few guys standing around over there. It's a shame that I don't have artillery support scheduled. There's a guy walking. Yeah, okay. What I'm looking for right now are vehicles. Uh, I know that there will be some infantry soldiers, of course. But what I don't know is if there are any vehicles, especially if there's some kind of anti-air maybe, that could pose a threat to us or to air support that I might call in. Also, I'm taking a look towards the hill up there. Just making sure that there's nothing that could surprise us later. But so far it looks pretty clear. Up there is the little village of Guglovo, a hamlet really. Nothing 
nothing that can be seen that might be a big danger to us. That's good. That's very good. So for now, for now, all we know is that we are facing one, two, three, four, at least five enemy soldiers. Probably more than that, because our target will be in a structure on the other side of this little destroyed village. So we cannot see him from here, otherwise <laughs> I might try to take him out with a sniper. Ah, well, we still have to examine the body, so there is, there's no way around going in. Okay, if that's the case, let's move out. And... I'll get you back in on the action once we are a bit closer to the target. Here we have a little situation. We have to cross a pretty big space of open ground here, over to that forest. And, well, we are entering enemy territory, definite enemy territory right now. There are enemy occupied villages to both sides of us. So what I will do now is I will call Jekyll to this position so that they can support us when we cross here. Just in case. So I can give orders to Jekyll actually. And it goes like this. So you can see we can order them to adopt a different co uh, behavior, um, give them different rules of engagement, tell them to go straight for the mission target or to hold their position to move somewhere or to well, provide a sit -rip. I'll now tell them to move to this exact position here. Coyote to Jack. I need you to relocate to the marked position. Get moving. Over. Roger, Coyote. Jack out. Yep, they are now on the move, as you can see. And when they are a bit closer, my squad and I will cross to the other side. Also, I need to make sure... I ordered my guys not to open fire. Because they might get ideas to shoot at enemies over there. That over there is the target area. It's still pretty far away, but you never know. You never know. I do have a sniper with me. He is pretty keen on killing somebody. Still one and a half kilometers to the target area. Okay. Jekyll, where are you guys? Should be coming up behind me right now. Yeah, they're now coming down the hill. Are they? They are right behind me in these trees. Pretty sure. We'll see them move out of those trees any moment now. There they are. Yeah, they're coming. Awesome. Okay, with them on the way, let's cross and hope that nobody sees us. That's a bit dangerous. Please let nobody see us. Okay, Jekyll is now in position. Good, very good. Everything good so far. Jekyll is standing by up there. They will cross uh, behind us. Once I've crossed, I will order them to cross as well. And then we'll keep moving towards the mission target. And I'll get you big back in on the action once something happens. Alright. We are quite close to the target. Just 300 meters separate us from the little village here. Jekyll, I have ordered them to move to this side. I think I will attack the little village from here and Jekyll will come in from this side from 
the rest here and go along this road maybe. Something like that. I will now order my troops to stay low and we will approach this very cautiously. Most of the enemies might be concentrated up in the village, but you can't exclude the possibility of patrols going through these forests. So, we have to be very, very careful here. And very vigilant. Everybody standing by? Are we ready to do this? Okay, before we move in, I will call in the air support. Absolutely, I will. Let's check the map again. Is any anti-air reported in the area? No. So, radio, we will go to our fire support tab. As you can see, usually, well, we have had a helicopter right now, but there could be uh, A-10 strafing runs, for example. There could be artillery or mortars standing by. We don't have any of that right now, we just have this helicopter. And this helicopter will come here and mess up these enemies. Don't want to fly him in like this over all these enemy positions here, so I will give him a waypoint over here where he will fly first and then he'll come in towards the village. Let's call him in. Coyote to base. I need some air support at my location ASAP. I repeat, requesting air support. Come in, base. Over. So now there will be an attack helicopter lifting off at the base. He should be here in about a minute or two. Not longer than that. Now can I maybe get Jackal in an even better position while we wait? Jackal, how about you move up to the road, but you will... Uh, if you move up to the road, you will engage enemies. I want the helicopter to make first contact. That is much better if it works that way. Yeah. So let's just wait a moment for our helicopter to arrive. He's very near already. The base is not far away. My guys are free to open up. If they see enemies. If we spot enemies now, they will be very close to us, so engaging them immediately is preferable. Okay. Yeah, the helicopter is coming in. Okay, let's call Jekyll and give them the order to go closer. Jackal, I want you guys to move up to the road. Coyote to Jackal, I need you to relocate to the marked position. Get moving. Over. Coyote, we copy you loud and clear. Jackal out. And they have to switch to combat behavior. My guys too. Okay, enemies are shooting with small arms at the helicopter. Uh, they will soon discover that this is a very bad idea. The helicopter is now turning around and will then mess these guys up. We are standing by if they should run into this wood here. They won't get very far. They really won't. Oh, there we go. Good job, helicopter. OK, 
Okay, gun reports up there. That's interesting. There's apparently an enemy patrol over there. I will now order Jekyll to move closer. I think Jekyll is actually engaging right now. That's good. Jekyll. Move to a position over here. This is Coyote. Advance to the marked grid. Over. Yeah, Jekyll is in a firefight. There comes the helicopter, shooting. And we are moving closer to the enemies. We are going to engage now. The helicopter have soft has softened them up. Jekyll has done a good job as well. Yeah, the enemies that were reported are dead. So I think it is time that we go for the mission target. There's a house. Well, what remains of a house at least. Let's move in. Yeah, the target structure is ahead of me. enemy in here. There's one. This area got hit. Do you have a red beret? No, you don't. You are not my... You are my target. Jeez, that was close. That was close. Coyote to Jackal. It looks clear around here. You can lift your asses off the ground now. <laughs> Over. Acknowledge, Coyote One. Hey, Two hundred meters, right? Man, two hundred meters, right? Yeah, there's still enemies in the area. Don't be complacent. But okay, guys, secure me while I check out this guy. Standing by. Uh, Take find up. cover somewhere, and I will examine the body. Confirmed dead. We can head back to base. Okay. We have our target. We can now choose to either return to base, uh, extract from this area, or we could go up front to this area here and stand by for further missions behind enemy lines. But I think uh, to show you how the mission ending works and how the war progresses, I will actually go ahead and extract. Okay, the wasp is shooting at Mogilevka down there, so maybe extracting over there might not be a good idea. Well, how do I plan my extraction? We might have to move all the way back to the castle for that, to do it safely. That might actually be the best thing to do here. Vehicle noises. Fall back. Roger. Come on, let's get out of here. Stay sharp. Let's just get out of here before reinforcements show up. Once I'm below the crest of the hill, I will order Jekyll down there as well. Hostiles? Behind us. Jekyll should cover that. The helicopter is engaging something with rockets. 
yeah, multiple hostiles behind us. Okay, in that case, Jackal. Uh, you are to move to this area over here. Coyote to Jackal. I need you to and we are going there as well. Get Come on, guys. Over. Let's get out of here. We have accomplished our mission target. Now we have to get out. I hope that the helicopter engages whatever is behind us. And this is open ground. I think Jekyll still has the order to stay in combat mode, so they will move a bit slower. Oh, sounds as if the helicopter is engaging whatever is behind us. Pretty successfully too. Jekyll. You are... Oh, you are not in combat behavior right now. That's good, okay. So you are moving kind of fast. Good, good. Okay, let's actually go ahead, we will call the extraction vehicle to a closer position. I think it will be fine. So we can now call the extraction transportation. I want a joint extraction, both teams will extract together. We will select by land vehicle and the joint extraction point will be uh, on the road up ahead here. Right there. Vehicles will be coming in from Nadezhdino, that means they will have to take quite a detour, so let's have them reroute. Uh, give me... Well, give me this. No, still coming in from Nadezhdino. Let me play around with this a bit. We'll manage to do this. No, they are still insisting on Adeshdino as the point of origin for the vehicles. Now that's not something that I would want, but it's something that I can accept. So they would be coming across these roads here, right? Okay. In that case, do come in from down there. Yeah, from over here. Okay, let's request the transportation. Base, this is Coyote. Do you read me? Ready for extraction at transmitted grid. Over. Transport in set your way, Coyote 1. Your job is keep the area secure until that has gone alive. Peace out. There has been a lot of shooting behind Coyote, us. This is Coyote. We're getting out of here. Move your asses to the extraction point. Move it. This is Jackal. I copy that. Okay, there's Jekyll. They will be now waiting for the extraction to get over with us. Um, as I said, there was a lot of shooting behind us, so the enemies definitely did send in reinforcements, but those were chewed up by the attack helicopter that was still circling the area. Uh, he has completed his close air support mission and has um, returned back to base. Okay, Jekyll will wait over there. I'll tell my guys to occupy these trees here. Find yourself a nice tree to take cover behind. And make sure that nothing comes in here. 
while we wait for the extraction. Yeah, the vehicles they are coming in from Nadeshdino, they must have been waiting there. They will now drive all the way down south, we'll then make a left here and we'll come back up north through enemy territory. So we'll see how that goes. Sounds like the extraction transports have run into some trouble. But I'm sure they're equipped to deal with it. If we look on the map... Yeah, I guess some enemies were down here in this little hamlet. The extraction transports drive by. Okay. But they uh, are apparently fine, they are still coming in. Hey there. Good to see you. Here it comes. Okay, these guys are on their way. My guys, we can already get in. Alright, we managed to extract without any further incidents and the mission was a success. But before we end the video, I want to show you the campaign setup and also how the war is progressing in between the missions. So when you start a campaign, you can choose a few things. You can choose if you want to play a campaign or just a single scenario. If you play the campaign, you can set up how many victory points you require to complete the campaign. 1000 is already quite a lot. You can set the enemy strength and the ambient enemies. If you are playing with AI mods, I advise you to drop this number, even to just 50% and 25. There will still be plenty of enemies for you to kill, don't you worry. Do you prefer that the second squad jackal is present or not? That's something that you can select and how many civilians and animals should be around. As I said, there are multiple versions of this mission. There are some versions where you play as the um, Russians, for example, versions where you play as the US Marines, or versions where you play as NATO. Also, there are versions of the mission on Altis and on some other maps as well. Here, for example, we can now select, well, our US SOCOM guys here, and we can select a different enemy. There are Eastern European Separatists, Balkan Irregulars, I mean, these guys just scream insurgency, so I like to play against those, or Western PMCs. Okay, let's just choose, choose the Balkan Irregulars for now and start the game so that you can see what I'm talking about when I say there's a war going on. This takes a little moment until everything is set up and initialized. But while that is going on, um, if you have armor 2, make sure to give the Forgotten Few 1 a try. If you have armor 3, play this. This can also be played in multiplayer, by the way. So, get a few friends together and play some real nice dynamic missions. Okay, here we go. As you can see, we are liberating territory. The enemy is taking some territory back. Up here, for example, yeah, it is a back and forth. And so the possession of the ter territory is changing all the time. And now we are presented with a choice of three missions. And each one is different. They are... Usually you get a mission uh, with easy difficulty, a mission with normal difficulty, and a mission with hard difficulty. As you can see, you get some intel on what to expect. So the easy mission will have a, w a weak enemy, so not a lot of them. You will have some air support. And yeah, it should be quite straightforward. The hard mission, here you are to search and raid a camp. Well, there will be some enemies, that can mean quite a lot actually, but you will also have some good support, so it is not an impossible mission. 
And yeah, that's how the campaign is progressing. And it is a really nice system. It works really well. And you always get new missions completely randomized, completely dynamic. So, give this one a go is all I can say. If you have any further questions about this, write them in the comments. I will try to answer. And that will be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you, you had some fun. Thank you very much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, have some great days and goodbye.